like this 300 years ago in the 17th century when famed physicist Sir Isaac Newton had his famous Eureka moment. The apple fell on his head, bonked him, and he asked the question, why does the apple fall down instead of floating off into space? Well, to better understand that, we need to talk about the force that affects all of us, gravity. And to better understand that, follow me. So as I was saying, gravity. The reason objects fall, the reason we don't fly off into space, and the reason we have an atmosphere. So what is gravity? Well, gravity is the attracting force between any two objects that have mass or energy. That means me, that girl I find really attractive, and the black hole in the galaxy Andromeda 2.5 million light years away are all attracted to me and me to them. To better show you what I mean, let's go to the gravity bedsheet of science. So this gravity bedsheet of science is our fake space and time. It's a model for space and time. Now these two objects have mass and as you can see, I'm going to put on the model of space and time, they attract and they collide. Now just like with in real life, objects with more mass create a bigger dent in space and time. And that's basically how gravity works. This mass can be categorized in three different ways. It's size, mass, and density. Now this isn't the only thing that affects gravity. Outside of mass, gravity is affected by distance. The farther away an object is, the weaker gravitational pull it has. This explains why we can't feel the moon's gravity, an object 384,000 kilometers away from Earth, but when Neil Armstrong walked on it, he didn't float off into space. Now this force, the warping of spacetime and attraction, is measured in g's. Earth is classified as a simple 1g, also known as 9.8 meters per second squared. But how does this force, g's, differ in comparison to other various solar objects relative to Earth? Fun fact about gravity though, we're actually discovering more about gravity as this video is being filmed. LIGO, the facility slash machine slash technology, first proved the existence of gravity waves through ultra precise measurements and an almost 4 kilometer long laser, almost 100 years after Einstein theorized them. Moving on, let's start with the sun, the most lit object in our solar system, and the most massive in our galaxy, the reason we're all alive. The sun's radius is 695,000 kilometers wide, whereas its mass is 1.989 times 10 to the power 30 kg. The average density of the sun is just a mere 1.41 grams per centimeter cubed, since it's mostly just a massive ball of gas. But since the sun is just so massive in comparison to Earth, the sun has an average gravitational pull of 274 meters per second squared, or almost 28 g. That means if you weighed 100 pounds on Earth, you'd weigh almost 1.5 tons on the Sun. This massive amount of gravity is what keeps all the planets in orbit spinning around the Sun. Fun fact number two. The Sun is really, really big compared to us. Like, really big. Like, so big it would take 1.3 million Earths to fill it completely. But, it's really, really small in the grand scheme of things, especially compared to other massive stars. Like, really, really small. The biggest star we found so far is... V.Y. Canis Majoris, a star that's 4.6 billion miles across. That's around 2,000 of our suns. That's approximately 2,730,000,000 Earths inside of it. That's a lot of Earths. Now imagine the gravity on that sucker. And let's not even get into neutron stars. From the biggest object in the solar system comes the smallest. Next, there's Mercury. Being the smallest planet and closest to the sun, Mercury has an average radius of 2,400 kilometers, a mass of 3.30 times 10 to the 23 kg. Mercury is only about a third of the size of Earth, and as stated earlier, is the smallest planet in the entire solar system. 
But Mercury does have a surprisingly high density, made up of hard dense rock. Its density is 4.43 grams per centimeter squared. This density is very similar to Earth's. This leads Mercury to have a surface gravity of 3.7 meters per second, which is the equivalent of 0.3 Hg, which means you would be a lot lighter on Mercury, but you would probably die from the extreme heat or extreme cold. After Mercury comes Venus. Venus is similar to Earth in many ways, which is why it is often referred to as Earth's twin. With a mean radius of 4.6 times 10 to the 8 kilometers squared, a mass of 4.8 times 10 to the 24 kg and a density of 5.2 grams per centimeter cubed. Venus is equivalent to Earth in size by 95%, has 81% as much mass, and is roughly 95% as dense. Hence, it is no surprise why the gravity on Venus is very close to Earth's 8.8 .8 meters per second squared or 0.904 g. So, if you were somehow to survive Venus's very, very toxic environment, you'd find walking around to be very similar to Earth. I've already spoken about Earth being 1G, but right next to the Earth is our buddy, the Moon. This is the one astronomical body where humans have actually been able to test the gravity compared to Earth. Its radius is 1737 kilometers, mass 7.3 times 10 to the 22 kg, and density is 3.3 grams per centimeter squared. The, gravity on the, the surface gravity on the Moon is 1.6 meters per second squared which is only 0.16 g. This explains why in this video, astronauts appear to be jumping on a trampoline when walking. They're not. The gravity is just really, really weak. Mars, the red planet. Mars is also similar to Earth in many key aspects. However, when it comes to size, mass, and density, Mars doesn't compare. Its mean radius of 3,389 kilometers is barely 0.5% of Earth's, while its mass 6.417 times 1023 is just 10% of Earth's. Its density meanwhile isn't that bad, being 71% of Earth's at 3.93 grams per centimeter cubed. Because of this, Mars only has 38% of the gravity of Earth, which works out to be 3.71 meters per second squared. This means if you could dunk a basketball on a 4 feet net in, on Earth, you could dunk on a regulation net, which is 10 feet, on Mars. Jupiter is hella thick, and by this I mean Jupiter is the largest and most massive planet in the solar system. Its mean radius clocks in at an impressive 69 or almost 70,000 kilometers, making it approximately 11 times the size of Earth, while its mass, 1.89 times 10 to the 23 kg, is the equivalent of 317 Earths. Being a gas giant, though, Jupiter is naturally much, much less dense than Earth and other terrestrial planets, with a mean density of only 1.3 grams per centimeter cubed. This puts Jupiter's surface gravity at 24.79 meters per second, or 2.5 g's. Jupiter's gravity is measured from the top of its clouds. Since being a gas giant, it doesn't have a true surface. If you were to stand on it, the massive amount of gravity would pull you down until you eventually arrived at its theorized solid core. The next ring body I'll be talking about, no, not that one, is Saturn. Like Jupiter, Saturn is a huge gas giant that is significantly larger and more massive than Earth, but far less dense. In short, its mean radius is 58,000 kilometers, 9 times Earth's, its mass is 5.68 times 10 to the 26 kg, 95 times its massive, and has a density of only 0.6 8 grams per centimeter cubed. As a result, its surface gravity, again measured from the top of its clouds, is just slightly more than Earth's, which is 10.44 meters per second squared, or 1.06 g. Gravity on Uranus. It's Uranus. No, it's Uranus. Uranus. No, Uranus. 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 No, it's Uranus. 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 Ha! I told you. With a mean radius of 25,000 kilometers and a mass of 8.68 times 10 to the 25 kg, Uranus is approximately four times the size of Earth and 14 times is massive. However, again as a gas giant, its density is much lower, 
1.27 grams per centimeter cubed. Hence, why the surface gravity measured again from the top of its clouds is actually less than Earth's. 8.69 meters per second squared, or 0.886 grams. Next is Neptune. Oh, great blue Neptune. No, 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 not that blue Neptune, the other Neptune. With a mean radius of 24,600 kilometers and a mass of 1.024 times 10 to the 26 kg, Neptune is the fourth largest planet in the solar system. All told, it is 3.8 times the size of Earth and 17 times as massive. But again, being another gas giant, has a low density of 1.638 grams per centimeter cubed. All of this works out to a surface gravity of 11.15 meters per second squared, or 1.14 g, which again is measured at Neptune's cloud tops. So now you know a little bit more about gravity, about what keeps us from flying off into space, about what keeps the atmosphere here, about how it relates to different bodies in the solar system, like Jupiter, like Saturn, like Uranus. Uranus. And hopefully, you finally really understand. You understand the gravity of gravity. <laughs>